Welcome to the sneak peek of my resin pyramid of horror. Enter if you dare, but enter at your own risk. Several pyramids were created. This was the first one. Had issues because the tape gave way and the objects fell down. I also placed them too far up in the pyramid and you could see them reflected underneath. That meant I had to go back to the drawing board how to better attach these guys. I thought I will use a four inch tile and glue them on and then I'll suspend them in the resin. Yeah, this didn't work very well either. I couldn't get it centered and the string kept stretching, but I ended up with a pretty cool piece but darn it, look at all those bubbles. Cause again, some of the objects dislodged right when the resin was curing and I had to dig them out, causing all those darn bubbles. Ugh, very, very frustrating, but very cool Halloween piece regardless. So lots of things were learned, but will my third pyramid be the best one of all. Wait and see, and let me know what you think in the comments below. I also want to say thank you to Kayleen of Venom Fluid Art, also known as Bubbles, for passing you all along to me. Up after me, if you can handle the suspense will be Grandma Kathy of Am Grandma Kathy's Art Venture. So make sure after my video, you go and check her out or you might be haunted forever. Where is he? Where's my guy? There he is. There he is. <laughs> There's the chair. He's like perfect in there. Look at that. Awesome. Okie dokie. As you can see, I am underway with round three. After much research, I discovered that there's this stuff called invisible thread, which is what I... <laughs> doesn't look like I'm doing anything, but I promise you there is thread there and it's kind of like thread sized fishing line. And I decided I was going to use UV resin to glue the fishing line onto the objects and then suspend them onto these skewers. And then that way I could put them to the right height and they would hopefully hang on to the stick. So that's the plan. I mixed up deep pour resin again, and I added both purple and a little bit of black to get this very, very light purple color. You can't even really tell on the stick that there's any color. But I put it in, and I discovered I needed more. So I mixed up, uh, first cup was eight ounces, followed by five ounces, and then I spent, oh, probably an hour and a half chasing bubbles. Bubbles love to stick to the glitter, but I finally got it basically bubble free. And you can see in there, it's looking darn good. And I like my glitter down at the bottom of the pyramid and sprinkled lightly um, from the top of the pyramid to the base, which is the top. Oh my gosh, we're confused now, right? Here are all my pieces that I've got that I'm gonna suspend into the resin. And hopefully this works, but we will see.
Hmm. Okay, it's gonna have a few bubbles in there and those little nooks and crannies. See if I can dislodge them. Why, for the love of Frankenstein, did I use my torch? Of course it melted the invisible string, and now I've lost another <laughs> piece. Down into the depths of the resin, will my dude be saved? Can I fix it? The struggle with these pieces in all three of my pyramids was very real. Very frustrating, very annoying, and a very sticky situation. And here I am using the torch again because, hey, I'm creating bubbles anytime something falls in. But at least this time, there's no plastic string. Okay, this looks like some kind of weird tic-tac-toe game at the moment. <laughs> but it is quite thick now. Look, you can see on my stick that this is setting up. So I do just keep repositioning a couple of these bad actors that want to turn. So, but speaking of which, I am going to add a little bit of resin dye by Let's Resin in white. Let's get the lid off. There we go. And just a little bit. Come on. Well, it fell off. So I'm creating a spooky scene with mist and or ghosts coming out um, around my little funky graveyard here. And just by dragging my stick with that pigment paste through the resin, it creates this totally cool, eerie effect. My resin has cured, and so now I'm just going to cut those strings and release my tic-tac-toe frame um, from the top, and we're gonna get on with the next layer. I wanted to put lights at the bottom of my pyramid and I was struggling to figure out how I was gonna do it. So I flattened the lights out, I poured resin into the mold and then I cut out a small square, cannibalized a small square <laughs> of one of my silicone mats and then I weighted it down um, with, with a coaster that I had. Here I am mixing up the next layer which is gonna be my glitter again, just to tie the whole piece together. So far, this is looking pretty good, but you be the judge. Okie dokie, should we get this out? This is all set. So first, oh yeah, that's so much easier with that powder in there. Forgot about that little tape. Okay, and... I'm 
have some. <laughs> Gonna have some uh, resin edges here to just kind of peel off and uh, let's see this is coming off really easily which is great woohoo look oh yeah my white definitely gives it a spooky edge oh my gosh look at those bubbles that's perfect actually in that cauldron <laughs> my dude he's got a few bubbles in his eyes too that's awesome perfect placement my bird oh that's yeah my bird is weirdly bubbly <laughs> but he kind of looks good he looks speckled <laughs> looks like the demons are coming out of my <laughs> rest in peace oh i'm really happy with this yay all right should we turn the lights on oh yeah that looks so good let me make that a little darker oh yeah yeah i'm i'm pretty thrilled with this Lights work well in there. I like it. I like it. I like it. I'm, I'm pleased now. <laughs> what do you guys think of this pyramid? I hope you like it. Leave me a message below. Let me know what your thoughts are. And uh, thank you as always for being here. I want to say a big, huge thank you to Donna with its art by Donna for putting on this amazing three-day collaboration and for inviting me to participate. So as um, we're closing up here and I'm gonna show you the close-ups, make sure that you follow us along over to Grandma Kathy's at Grandma Kathy's Art Venture. See you there.